I'm not in a position in life where I should be fearful of uh, the men and women out there that help protect our society. It's a problem that Metro faces every day. Communities in fear of the men and women who've sworn to protect them. But as 13 Action News reporter Parker Collins explains, Metro is hoping to change that by hanging out with some people you might not expect. Imagine asking for help from the very person who put you behind bars. Would you be afraid? Nervous? Angry? These kind of feelings have led to protests and violence around our country. Officers don't want to see that bubble up here. Officers are not robots in uniforms going out there and doing things that they expect them to see. We're human beings just like everybody else. Hope for Prisoners is a nonprofit helping people live their best lives after serving time. Each year, the Nevada Department of Corrections releases about 6,000 people. Some of them don't know where to go, and a lot of them end up back behind bars. Before that happens, Hope, alongside Metro, works to make a change. To be honest, I was very comfortable with that. You know, I'm not in a position in life where I should be fearful of uh, the men and women out there to help protect our society. Some of the mentors who speak to the program's participants are officers themselves. More than once, the arrestor and arrestee have come face to face again in this space. Each time they've managed to get past it and even laugh. Here they're getting at the root of the problem, not what happened in the past. I came to the realization during my career as a law enforcement officer that a lot of the problems that we have, all of us in our country today, have nothing to do with what somebody did or where they're coming out of. This Friday, 30 men and women are going to be graduating from this workshop as they are trying to turn their lives around. This is the first time ever this ceremony has been held at Metro headquarters. Parker Collins, 13 Action News.